My name is Kara Mezik. I'm a branch assistant at the Wicomico Public Libraries here at the Center Branch. And today we're going to be making some ocean silhouettes as part of our cozy crafting program. So everything for this craft can be found at your local Walmart or your Dollar Tree. But for this craft, I have a small canvas here that you can get at Walmart. Um, or if you don't have one available, you can use white cardstock. Have some foam brushes, at least two. Have a marker or a metallic gel pen, some black cardstock, and have something to mix your paints in. I also have blue and white temper paint here. So let's get started. So let's get started. I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm just going to draw a basic fish. So I start at the bottom or the top. I just make a curve down and back up. We do the opposite side. Just kind of hit his tail. Now we're going to cut him out. I have my fish shape. So I'm putting that aside. This is my tray for my paints. I have my blue temper paint here. some white temper paint and what I'm doing with the white is I'm actually going to add a large amount of white and here off to the side I'm going to add just maybe a drop or two of blue so I'm going to swirl this in ever so lightly look at that beautiful light blue watercolor. So I'm going to start with my dark blue color. And I'm just going to do it in a wave motion. That way we can pick up the textures, the depth with our brush. So when I have these open spaces here, I'm going to add my lighter color. I'm going to have a beautiful blend. And then we just keep going all the way through. We'll do these waves. One from each side. Now 
Now most of my canvas is filled, so I'm going to start adding in my lighter blue color. So now our canvas is beautiful with these amazing ocean depths and waves. So if you want, before you add your fish shape, you can draw on it. You can use the metallic gel pens that we talked about or some metallic Sharpies, or you can even add some glue and some glitter to give our fish some design. I've chosen to just leave mine plain, put a little bit of temper paint on the back of it, and while it's wet, I'm going to stick him right here in the center, and all of that will dry nicely together. Smooth out that a little bit. Here is your fish silhouette. Thank you so much for joining us at Wicomica Public Libraries. We'll see you next time.